A local nonprofit aimed at helping veterans is making progress in southern Illinois, but as News 3's John Ross reports, Project Die Hard still needs your help. Brian Gibson founded Project Die Hard with the dream of helping veterans transition back into civilian life. The organization recently acquired nearly 20 acres of land that will help them do just that. He calls it Forward Operating Base Rush. Named after Sergeant Courtney Rush, U.S. Air Force veteran that lost the battle to the demons. Since they've had the property, they've been making progress towards a finished product. We've started clearing some land, clearing out around the pond, taking out some of the toilets and sinks that are there so we can literally start planning. They've also partnered with Cassidy's Cause, a therapeutic horse riding academy to provide veterans with equine therapy. When we get the building renovated, then we'll build the barn to house the horses, and then they're gonna supply counselors for the counseling. And if a veteran decides they want to become an equine counselor, they will get them trained and certified. Gibson has also seen an outpouring of support from local residents and businesses alike. CNK equipment has just come on board with us. They're giving us a sweet deal. I mean, they're a young company. They're only three years old, but you know, this is this is how we're gonna succeed is by all working together. He says the teamwork has to continue to make the dream a reality. Now we need more people because with the donation of a 3,000 square foot building, uh, in about three weeks, we take over the utilities. So we've done the math. We need 100 more people to give $22 a month so we can pay the utilities. John Ross, News 3. Project Die Hard also brings attention to veteran suicide, citing the 22 veterans on average that die each day. Gibson says when the building is renovated, they'll be able to house 12 single veterans and two veterans with their families.